Good morning, this is Genosis with episode 5 of One Shot Kill. So doing a little bit of puttering around. I figure I would craft a scope this morning, um, because that sounds like something I should be doing. Now, yes, uh, today is going to be Horde Day. That's... <laughs> Buckle up, because uh, uh, this could be it. You never know. I just need to make sure, make sure that base is, uh, you know, at least halfway uh, complete so that I can actually survive. So, who, who knows? I mean, at least when it comes to Horde Day, you know where they're going to be coming from. Now, there's something I was looking at. It would be nice for me to whip up a bow. Because I can make a proper one right here. I just need some additional wood. Um, and I need a little bit more glass, so I was going to smelt up some uh, glass here. And then break it. I just need some lead. I think I have some lead right here. There we go. And I figure a scope would be great because if I have a base that is that, you know, belt and precision, I got this guy right here. Actually, do I have any more ammo for that? That's a good question. I do not. So I'm going to need maybe to check the trader for some ammo and uh, go from there. All right, that's the plan this morning. Let's start by gathering some wood, get some components together. I'd like to get a wood bow crafted because I might have to rely on arrows tonight. I think I've puffed and puffed and gathered enough trees. I'm going to head back to the base and get some crafting done. Yeah, this uh, the entire morning is going to be focused on that base because uh, that's our ticket to survival. Getting past uh, day five is uh, probably going to uh, lose some people some bets. So, uh, yeah, I just want to get that get that nice and nice and protected. But I guess we're going to need some... Uh, we're going to need... Actually, let me get this... No, not that. Get this upgraded for you. I'm thinking about it. But yeah, I want to get that all lace and tight and upgraded because I don't want the base to be what kills me. I mean, that's that almost never happens. <laughs> so let's not this uh, this time be the first one. All right, so I should be able to craft a glass block. We've got a bunch of arrowheads. Scatter all those. Make some more arrows because we'll need as much as possible. And now we can make a bow. Hmm, that's all the parts I have, right? Parts, uh, parts. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to craft this bow because I don't think I'm going to have enough parts for another tier if I decide to put a point into it. Like, can I even? No, I can't. Well, never mind. I'm just going to craft it right now. I think the important part is that it's going to be um, have a better arrow drop on it. And that's uh, kind of important for me. There. Now I should also have enough for a scope right here. Uh, uh, oh, just need two glue. There we go. And now we also have a scope to make. We're just trying to ma maximize our, you know, um, all of our ammunition. Because if I miss, uh, that's that's not great. <laughs> okay, so primitive bow gone. Um, scrap, yeah, scrap. There we go. Get a bunch of arrows. Um, anything else I'm missing? This trader is open, which is good. Yeah, I think I'm out of feathers, so... Alright, so that's it for right now. I'm just going to uh, get some inventory stashed away here. And then uh, go check out the trader. And I, I also want to see if there's anything more I want to sell. Because I wouldn't mind getting one of those fancy weapons over there. Alright, scope is ready. And something else I'm going to do is this. I wouldn't mind having some Molotovs. Uh, what is holding me back from crafting more? Um, hold on. 14 minutes. What was I missing? Hold on. Molotov. My eyes are crossed here. Oh, gas. Okay, gas is what I'm missing. That's fine. We're not going to need gas anytime soon. Okay. Now that I have that crafting, now I'm going to head to the trader and check out what's going on. And then work on the horde base. Yeah, that's going to be this morning. Um, just want to get your expectations set right here and there. Uh, ooh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to grab my scope and then head over. All right, so uh, let's just take a look at a stash here. There was the weapons I was keeping an eye, I, I, oh, sorry, <clears throat> keeping an eye out on. Uh, let's see, there's an AK. Ooh. <laughs> um, <laughs> though I, I am considering the whole sniper thing, and I did see the lever action. That would be really great use of my 7.62. Like that's that would maximize my bullets. Now, can I get 5,700 bucks? Hmm. Probably not with what I have here. I did grab a sugar butt. So let's uh, burning. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, actually, do you have a container here I can stash some sellables into? Yeah, so I, what I'd like to do maybe is while I'm also taking a, a break here and there. Oh, my person didn't loot. Oh, Jesus Christ, seriously? A freaking gun right there. Uh, that's probably worth more uh, as parts. So I'll just craft that. I can't believe I missed that purse sitting right there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to toss my sellables into here and then uh, come back later. And I'll try to do as much looting as I can and uh, try to get that money together because that would be great to have that ready for tonight. Oh, Auto Parts Store. That actually might be a great place to hit today. It's uh, really nearby and I could wrench a bunch of things and sell some parts to try to make the rest of that money I need. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, also, we do have that one point I haven't spent yet, and I think, gosh, <laughs> do I put it in Deadeye and try to focus on that, or do I put it in Strength and try to get another? It, point in Strength right now is not going to help me until I have enough points to get to another tier of uh, Sexy Rex or that kind of thing. So, lots of ways we can do it today. So I'm going to empty out here first and then head on to that quest, and I'll probably do a bunch of wrenching. And uh, then work on the horror base. There's so many things I want to do today, and I'm just kind of all over the place. All right, I'm going to do something a little nuts. I'm going to put a point into salvage operations, because that's going to give us more material to sell, give us more money. Yeah, I know that's, I know that's crazy. I know there's going to be like, hey, that's not the best way to do things, but it's uh, kind of my strategy at the moment. Because if I get all this wrenched... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Forgot that there's a, they're really sensitive in here. Okay, you gonna come out? Oh, I hear them. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna wrench your cars out here before I start the quest, because you know, waste not, want not. You let me know when you want to die. I'll be right here. There we go. All right, where was I? All right, those cars have been taken care of. Let's, uh, where's my bicycle? Here we go. All right, let's try to drop as many non-stackables in here as possible. Uh, actually, pretty much everything can be stacked here. Hold on. You can be a problem, buddy. All right, got to make sure that I don't uh, get surprised by anyone popping in unexpectedly. I don't think there's anything locked in here, but I'll keep it on me just all the same. Oh, battery. Oh, that's a really great battery. That was a good find. And I guess this will all stack, but... I'll just keep it in there for now. Okay, let's get on in here. Now there's going to be another zombie in here that is going to be woken up. So if I could possibly get the drop on you, before you do... Uh, where are you? There you are. Oh, freaking hitboxes. That looks like crap right there. Arrow floating just right there. Don't you feel ridiculous? Shit. Whoa, fuck! <laughs> oh, that dude sailed right past my face. <laughs> oh, I gotta keep checking the ceilings. I did look at the ceilings in the other part of the uh, the building. God damn it! But I did not check that particular part. Oh, Jesus Christ! Fuck! Ah, uh, this guy. This guy's faster than all of them. That's throwing me off. But. Uh, yeah, they got a couple close uh, close calls to be right there. I gotta, I gotta be a little more careful. Yeah. Anyways, uh, just a, a reminder uh, that this uh, all my my uh, recordings from here on out are going to be streamed. I just kind of thought it'd be kind of a cool way to uh, let folks, our patrons, be able to watch uh, while we're doing the recordings. And also, if they see me, see it happen, they'll see it live. So that's uh, that's fun. That's is that a fun thing? I think it's a fun thing. Okay, now let's uh, get on through here while, uh, oh, fuck, 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 post that got me there for a second. Hey, son of a bitch. Oh, that went through his hoodie. Okay, let's come back out here. That's, I got stuck in that little post there for a second. All right, come on over here, buddy. Fucker, okay, stay there, stay there. Stay down. All right, we're good. Oh, good, something to drink. Okay, just uh, getting on through here and uh, trying to maintain my heart rate. Man, they're they're jumping out at me every every which way. Uh, let's see, yeah, let's, let's scrap the stuff. Uh, I don't know, it's not really uh, 
sustainable way to be, but whatever. Okay, so I th these parts up here, they get a little hairy. Because I remember in Wasteland, they just kind of popped out at every which direction. So let's uh, t try to be a little cautious. And, uh, yeah, I know there's, like, they're hiding in the ceiling a lot in this one. Just got to be careful. Yeah, okay, this room's clear. Okay, we got some friends. And uh, set up a quick little uh, cage for them. Because I, I don't want them to be on the other side of that while I kill them. Alright, wasn't that better? Yeah, that was... That was probably the best way to go. Just a little bit of wood, and everyone dies. That sounds a really bad porno. Alright, I think I just made a decision. Uh, this leads up to the roof, and uh, yeah, they're, they're bad, bad news, because they get vultures. So we got our uh, scoped uh, machine gun ready to go. Uh, let's see, which side do I want to go up on? I think this side. Let's uh, go right up here. Keep an eye on for any stupid birds. Okay, here we go. Where, uh, where might you might hide? And stay down. Okay, well that's one. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's any vultures on top of here, but again, just uh, try to be on the cautious side. I don't want them to, uh, I don't want them to surprise me. I want to surprise them. Okay, I think it might be clear. There was a bird over there. So that was uh, that was hard to see. I just kind of blended into the tree behind it. Let's see. I think this roof is clear. I didn't really actually need to be here. Just kind of wanted to get the experience. No one else around here? Cool. All right, now it's time to get into the garage. Now that's another place I'm not looking forward to. Uh, I got to drop down in here. See, so yeah, that's... Uh, hmm. Dropping down into places is, is a... I heard something. A good way not to live. Oh, right there. There you go. And there's probably more around I don't see right now. Hmm. I don't think I can break into here. I think those are like steel. And that's a concrete. So I think I have to go down here regardless. Let's take a quick purity. There we go. I need a... Oh. Did I wake someone up? Hmm. I think I do need to be careful because... Uh, well, actually, I also need to hurry. So that's none of those are not compatible things, because uh, we got a lot of work to do, and all this careful stuff is really eating up time. Okay, we've descended, and we have a, a ladder up, so you gotta get got a plan for exit strategy. That might have been the only zombie here. Huh. Okay. Now, I think that might be it until we get down there. Those are our last zombies here. Now, there's a crawler down there as well, if I'm to remember. If I can just maybe find them before they find me. Ah, there it is. Okay, I figured it wasn't a bad thing that I just made some noise because he was under that platform, that little shithead. And they didn't appear until I got close enough. So you know what? You can stay down there and you can die. Those guys are probably more dangerous than the full-legged ones. Ah, is that, is that a proper term to say, full-legged? <laughs> is that insensitive? I don't know. Okay, we got one guy left, I think. Right there. You stay sleeping. How do- Oh, I wasn't crouching. Shit. Damn it. One more hit in this guy. Oh. He- That shit? Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, now we're clear. So I'll keep my gun out, though, just in case, but... I think we are clear. You're not going anywhere. Okay, sorry. It's 2 p.m. We do have eight hours to get uh, the Horde base operational. Maybe, just maybe, there could be something in here that might help us. Uh, some stuff to sell, I guess. I don't, I don't need a shovel. I don't need a... Oh, archery book. Perfect. Uh, double pocket mod. Armor to sell. And uh, other things. Okay. Work and sift tools. Come on. Something in here. Duct tape. Blah, 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 blah. That's fine. Quest is complete. We'll, we'll go turn in at... Uh, what's his face there? Hugh. And, mm, hold on, there's one more box back here, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, right, right here. Again, hoping for something, uh, something that's gonna help us. Uh, wheels, we have so many wheels, oddly enough. Alright, so I'm gonna head out 
and I'm going to maybe grab as much cobblestone as I can, because that's also time we're going to save. And uh, I don't think I'm going to spend a lot of time wrenching, because I don't think we have the time. Okay, out we go. Uh, there is a couple cars here. Hmm. I'll at least loot them. Oh, already looted them. Oh, okay. Uh, do I... Should I spend a minute to wrench them? Yeah, it won't take long. Okay, on the way to the trader. So we'll turn it in. We'll uh, use that sugar butts and sell all of the parts that we uh, that we wrenched up. I usually don't do that, but uh, those parts are not going to do any good in my uh, my box back at home if uh, I die tonight because I don't have a decent weapon. Because uh, I know the a, the uh, machine gun, the primitive machine gun, is all well and good. But if I could get that lever action, that will make sure every bullet counts at least twice the damage. And that to me sounds like the best way to go. All right, so I stashed my sugar butt at some point, so may as well go ahead and uh, grab that. I don't have any repair kits, which sounds like a problem. So let's uh, make a couple right now. Now, I'm not going to use that on selling something, because uh, I would rather have a uh, repair kit tonight, if uh, if need be. All right, back to the trader with my sugar butt, which sounds really in inappropriate. Want to see my sugar butt, mister? <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, we'll go sell her all of the stuff we can. And if we can get that lever action, I will feel a lot better about tonight. But uh, I also need to work on that horde base, which will really make me feel a lot better about tonight. All right, here it goes. Okay, he's going to give us uh, items. Okay, 1,350 dukes. That's awesome. Uh, iron arm. Okay, this is worth more, but I kind of want a hunting knife. But I'll take what's worth more right now, which hit the ground, apparently. Okay, let's do some selling. There it is. Lever action rifle. That's... Yeah, that's that's going to help us tonight. Really going to help us. So, yeah, I'll put the pipe machine gun away. Because that's... Look, look at the difference in damage. It is twice the damage. So, Are we done yeah. here? Yeah, we're done here, buddy. Just give me a second. So, modify that. Now... Yeah, I'm not going to use it. I'm, I'm going to sell it because this actually holds a fair bit of rounds. Um, let's see, modify this. Toss the scope onto it because that's just a great place to have it. Yeah, so this is not a primitive weapon. This holds four shots. I know it's not a gun them down scenario, but I wouldn't need to gun them down if I can do 78 damage each shot. So how much is that worth anyways? Is that worth selling? 75. Yes. Let's just do it. All right, so we're out of time. Let's... Uh, Get our ass out of here. I won't sell the parts yet because I don't need to. I don't think there's anything else here that's going to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a sniper book. Hmm, hold on. Okay, just have enough. Reload rifles faster. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that sounds like the way to go. Okay, I'm getting the hell out of here. I've, I've spent way too much time, but we got this. And that is going to make a big impact tonight. Okay. Let's get working. That's not the kind of trouble I want right now. Guys. Jesus. <laughs> That's, we don't want a wandering horde right now. I want to sneak in. I can sneak in my own base. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. If they come, they come. Um, yeah, I don't know. They're coming now. They will beat on the walls. They'll beat on the things. But if I can get them at the hatch, that's fine. So I'll take all the clay. Uh, all the cobblestone. I have all the iron, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you right there. See, you right there. You stay right there. Oh, yeah, there's a horde outside. Don't run straight out. Okay. Oh, this is a waste of time. Okay. All right. They're just kind of beating on the walls right now. That's fine. They don't, they're actually looking for me right now. But here, this is uh, this is going to be my priority. Okay, now we did level up, so let's take a look at, at any points if they're going to help us. I do have one point. Did I? That's probably the way to go. 10% more damage. Aim and reloads faster. Yeah, I don't have enough time to take advantage of digging perks. But, fuck it. Alright, let's do some digging and do some upgrading.
bring my heart rate one over 100 just hearing that sound. Uh, okay, we still got time. There's still four hours of game time left. And uh, surrounded to frames. Great. But I'm making barbed wire. And that's going to be one of my other strategies for, for success here. Is uh, getting this entire... Yeah, that all up to barbed wire. Just like that. So that way they're nice and slow heading to me. It gives me time to kill them. And then I'm also crafting some hatches. I'll have a hatch in the inside, hatch in the outside. So that way, uh, if they do eventually get there, I can haul them off. And hopefully they don't get to that point, because uh, that, that would not be... That would not be great. Okay, just ran out of wood, but there are some near, nearby trees over here. So that should be alright. Um, if I get another point, I should probably think about where I'm going to put that. Maybe perception? Because that will give us some extra head explosions. But yeah, going into perception might be a good idea. Uh, just, you know, want to be able to sniper things. I also want to put points in the archery later on, so I'm just kind of spreading them out right now. It's going to be a mix of uh, strength for the digging, uh, perception for the snipering, and agility for maybe the parkour and the archery. So, that's my running plan. Okay, so axe is broken, but we're crafting repair kits. So that, that's, that's honestly fine right now. I might have all the wood I need, but I do need a little bit extra stone just in case. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to run out of cobblestone. Let's not waste the time. Okay, still have a little bit more time to upgrade and build. The uh, biggest priority is to make sure that the enclosure I'm in, they cannot access from anything else other than that one path I've allowed. So I'm going to dig a little bit more of this to make sure that they can't, not tempted to dig underneath me, but I, don't, I really don't think they are. They, they'll see this nice wide open path leading straight to my front door, and they're, they're going to want to go there. All right, getting some bars up here for the, uh, you know, quote-unquote stupid birds. And eventually I'm going to make this a taller tower. And I think this actually might be a fun thing to turn into a permanent base of mine. So uh, that way if I can bottleneck when the, where, where they'll actually come to attack, you know, if they want the zombies wander by, I can, uh, I can do it that way. I still got a lot of upgrading to do. And there's one other shape I wanted to try. Uh, and that is the, uh, hold on, arrow slits. Uh, right here. So, I should theoretically be able to... Hold on. Ooh, it, yeah, I should be able to shoot through that. Let me double check. If they're coming down, I can go like... Yes. Alright. Okay, we're, we're, we're almost ready. We're going to do a little bit more upgrading, and I want a little bit more of a floor to stand on. Alright, running home right quick to see if there's anything else I'm missing. I was crafting Molotov, so I want that um, before the night starts. So... Yeah, let's get in there. Uh, also, um, now that I was thinking about it, um, all on my own, that I should uh, go make the uh, hole on the top of the roof for a hatch off to the sides, so not, not where the birds are going to be attacking. Uh, oh, monorail tops, perfect. I don't need pipe bombs, great. And if I if I have to use the shotgun, I may as well be dead. So <laughs> there's that. Uh, okay, that's it. Off we go. That's gonna break my leg. There we go. Okay. Nope. Nope, nope, I hear zombies. Nope. Mm -mm. Hey, look like that's that's working. You go away. Hey, that works. Okay. Now, one of the more important things right now are the hatches. Now, if we can just get this right here. I'm glad she came to test that. That was just perfect. Um yeah. Like that. So double ended. Alright, let's get that upgraded. All right, just drop that point into perception. Again, I, I just wanted to make sure that uh, that was done. I'm not going to bother with that arrow slit right now. The bars are probably more important because we're, we're triaging at this point. Yeah, things are happening. All right, so hammer. I got some pipe bombs. Uh, won't need a wrench, but we might need Molotovs. All right, we're almost there. Okay, we're out of wood, but that's fine. We're okay. Everything's fine. Right above my head, it's where I want a cobblestone. Alright, zombies are coming. Anyone else nervous? So, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's do this. Alright, here they come. And yeah, they're going right where I want them. Let's go. So far, so good. One shot, one kill. Uh, yeah, works for them too, right? Haha. <laughs> Yeah, this was a good choice. This was a good decision I made today. 
All right, let's uh, get that burning. Whoop. Oh, yeah, that's the ticket. And maybe uh, soften him up with uh, the pistol. Because it uh, doesn't do as much damage. But the uh, fire is going to wear them down a bit. Molotov's away. So far, so good. If I get another point, maybe I should look into Penetrator. Oh, oh hello. Get close. No, you don't. You stay right back there. There. Yeah, so Penetrator would allow the bullets, actually armor-piercing rounds, to go through. But also, um, it would um, cut through some of the armor on the uh, armor targets, which makes sure they died with one bullet instead of two. But, uh, yeah, we got 71 bullets left. We, we, we should be okay. Hey, another level up. Um, maybe perception? Yeah, okay, let's perception. Let's maximize our, our damage here. There we go. We can actually put another point in the dead eye if we get another level. But you see how the uh, the focus is a lot faster now. Which leads we can shoot faster and reload faster. What's not to like? You know what? Is that it? I mean, this is day five, so our game stage is probably, yeah, 20. Low enough to not have a full Horde Knight. Let's uh, get a ladder up here to our escape hatch. Actually, I'll make, make an actual hatch to cover that up. And then the ladder. We're out, of, we're, out of, we're out of wood. But I think, yeah, damn it. How about just the, a frame ladder? Because I want to take a look, see what's going on out there. No, nope, that'll bug me. I need the, the the same same ladder. Ladder. Here we go. Okay. Anybody out here? Wow. No. <laughs> Expecting a vulture. No, I think we're. I think that was it. So you know what that means. I think we've survived day five, which means we're on to day six. So I know people are losing bets every day that I uh, I survive one of these challenge days. There we go. So, we should have a way in and out to get those loot bags, because I want those loot bags. Let's make sure our gun's loaded. Both of them. I don't hear any pitter-patter. And uh, generally... Oh, look at these bags. Uh, generally... Oh, okay, I thought it was a better bow than that. Um, at nighttime... Oh, I see a zombie. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this uh, scope issue right here. Right... See, that's why I'm going into Perception. That zombie was a really far away. And they're dead, and I'm not. So, yeah, that's the way to go. All right, I think... I think we're okay. So I'm going to maybe uh, <clears throat> hide in here just a little bit. So uh, that's going to be it for me. Uh, this has been Genosis with Day 5 of One Shot Kill. If you like what you saw here today, like the video. I'd like to see more, some more in the future, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and we are going to see you for uh, episode 6, now that that's possible.